Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for the opportunity of addressing you today, albeit in virtual format, at this, the 12th International Forum on Illegal, Unreported and Unregulated Fishing, organized by Chatham House. Your presence at this gathering signifies to me that you're already aware that IUU fishing has contributed significantly to the depletion of fish stocks all over the world. Experts estimate that globally about one in five fish representing an annual value of over $20 billion is illegally caught. In the coastal waters of developing countries, estimates attribute one fish catch in every three to IUU fishing, seriously impacting the food security of local populations who depend on fish as their main source of protein. Let's face it, if you're a fish eater, the situation I've just described probably means that at some stage in your life, you've unwittingly, or otherwise, been party to this crime. So the basic question that we all must face on this as consumers is, do we want to be receivers of stolen goods? Presumably not, because if you're prepared to accept things that have been stolen from other people, the day is going to come when they accept things that have been stolen from you. A basic tenet of uh, civilization is the rule of law, and IU fishing breaks the law. It steals from communities, it steals from countries, often poor countries, it steals from the ocean's overexploited fish stocks, and by avoiding scientific monitoring, it steals from good governance and management of the ocean and thereby the sustainability of its resources. Ladies and gentlemen, in addressing you through this message, I've been asked by Chatham House to comment on the progress of the implementation of the UN's universally agreed Ocean Goal, Sustainable Development Goal 14, that sets out to conserve and sustainably use the ocean's resources. More specifically, I've been asked to look at the goal's two targets, SDG 14.4 and SDG 14.6, in the context of their relationships with IUU fishing. I'm sure most of you are aware that these two targets of SDG 14 mature this year, 2020. You'll recall that SDG 14.4 requires us by 2020 to effectively regulate harvesting and end overfishing, illegal unreported and unregulated fishing and destructive fishing practices and to implement science-based management plans in order to restore fish stocks in the shortest time feasible, at least to levels that can produce maximum yield as determined by their biological characteristics. You could say that ending illegal fishing is akin to stopping crime, and even the most optimistic amongst us would find that a tall order in the short term. But the indicator set by the UN for judging this target is more straightforward. It simply points us to the proportion of global fish stocks being harvested within biologically sustainable levels. We should be able to garner how we're faring in that regard when, in early June, FAO presents its biannual SOFIA report. But in so doing, we should remember that the actual statistics for 2020 will not be available until 2022 and that what we'll see in the SOFIA report are the latest statistics for 2018. You may recall that the 2018 SOFIA report uh, is where we learned that 33% of global fish stocks are being harvested beyond biologically sustainable levels, overfishing. I, for one, am not holding my breath on the global overfishing situation having changed much from that percentage. However, I do think it's fair to say that there have been some very good advances on curtailment of IAU fishing through the efforts of member states and RFMOs, uh, thanks especially to FAO's Port States Measures Agreement and related work. We now have most of the knowledge and fisheries management experience required to reverse the long-standing disappointing trends on overfishing. FAO has found that where fisheries are intensively managed, stocks are consistently above target levels or are rebuilding. FAO has also determined that where political will for prioritizing sustainable fisheries management is present, and there is meaningful involvement of local communities in ecosystem management efforts, the tide can be turned on threatened marine resources, on rebuilding of depleted stocks, and restoration of degraded habitats. FAO is adamant that management is the best conservation. 
I should also say that recent academic research shows that countries which have adopted intensive scientific-based management systems have achieved or are achieving the maximum sustainable yield goals aimed at protecting ecosystems and biodiversity. For these facts, from these facts, it's not unreasonable to find cause for optimism. Do the right things with the right level of effort and we can achieve SDG 14.4 in due course. Ladies and gentlemen, the SDG 14.6 target addresses the removal of harmful fisheries subsidies and its indicator of success is pointed directly at IUU fishing. The indicator reads, Progress by countries in the degree of implementation of international instruments aimed to combat illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing. The 14.6 target is in fact rather more demanding than that, for as well as the elimination of IU fishing, it also calls for the prohibition by 2020 of certain forms of fisheries subsidies contributing to overcapacity and overfishing. But so be it. So how are we doing on SDG 14.6? Well, unlike 14.4, I believe this target is eminently achievable before the end of the year. 